Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can implement push notifications in Flutter on iOS. In the previous videos, we covered how we can implement that on Android. We also covered handling local notifications and also how to trigger notifications using API call. Now, before any further delay, let's get started on iOS. You can see this is the Apple developer and you need to create an account on that first. I have already one, so I will go directly to account. You can create one and then log in. So this will move us to our Apple developer account where we have apps to connect for handling our apps. And also here we have the certificates and identifiers. So I will go to identifiers here. I need to create a bundle ID, one that is similar to our app, right? So uh, what we have to do, uh, we have to create one. This is the one that has been created by Xcode itself. So we can either use this one or create a new one. I will show you how you can create a new one. So you can just tap on this ID and select app IDs here, continue, select app, and then you will have this option to enter a bundle ID to create it. So here you can name it. So uh, we have here, this is the code. We also have Xcode here. We have opened the Xcode for our app. And this is the one that we will use. It needs to be unique, right? Most people use the convention, like if they have a website, which is www.example.com. So they take com.example and then their app name. So that's how it works to make it unique because web domain is unique. Uh, but we have for this tutorial this, and you can see this was created. But if you have to create a new one, you can just enter that same ID. Then you can enter description. You need to add capabilities. So here you can enable push notifications. For that, you have this option. You will enable it. And then you need to enter the bundle ID, description, and continue, right? If it's unique, so it will uh, register this identifier for you. We already have this one. This has been configured by Xcode automatically, right? And how does it do that? You enter your bundle ID, then you enable automatic manage signing and then you select your team. So this is my team. And when I select it, uh, it automatically created one for me here, which was the same as this ID that I set in the app. You also have to make sure that uh, your Firebase uh, the, your Firebase app, which is conf that is configured with the same ID. So uh, it needs to be the same as the one on Firebase. For instance, if I go to uh, Firebase here, you can see I have these two apps connected to Firebase for Android and iOS. This is the iOS one. You can see the bundle ID is same. You so you need to have the same ID here and Xcode and on the App Store as well. So you also need to have uh, all these similar only then it will work and now if we come back to our certificates here so this is the id we have this capability being enabled for push notifications right so we have done the first step now here for this bundle id we need to enable some capabilities in xcode the first one is, is going to be push notifications i will enable it uh, and you can see it is location push service I think it's not the one we intended. We need to enable push notifications. This is the one we did this wrong. Let's remove it. This is the push notifications capability. Similarly, we need to add background modes. It will enable us to get the background notifications and fetch data from it. So I will enable the options background fetch and remote notifications here. So we have these two capabilities enabled on Xcode. We have this, this bundle identifier registered on App Store. And similarly, it's the same on Firebase as well. We have registered our iOS app with this ID on Firebase. So we have these steps being done. Now what we have to do is go to Firebase, uh, sorry, uh, App Store here. This is our uh, Apple developer or App Store account. Here we need to go to keys. We need to generate a key for Firebase cloud messaging. For that, I will uh, this tap on this plus button and I need to enter a key name like FCM key tutorial. So I just given this name and then I need to enable these services. So Apple push notification service APNS. This is what we need to enable, right? So uh, we will need to provide this key on Firebase in order to 
uh, yeah, so that's firebase cloud messaging can connect with apple push notification service and that send notification to our flutter app so now from here we will need to configure so we can like uh, create a key for both uh, sandbox and production or you can try this one that works on both right and then team scope is all topics and then save and now we will tap on continue and register and this will register a key for us from here we can download this key it cannot be redownloaded so download it and make sure you have this available then you will need this key id and one other thing right so i'll go to firebase now and uh, here in the settings i'll go to project settings and here we have this cloud messaging from here uh, for ios we will need to add this the key that we just created on app store so here you can upload production apns auth key or developments so we have the one that works on both right so now we will upload this to production so i will go to here and i need to drag and drop that key so i will browse and in the download you can see we have this key that we just downloaded we have uploaded that we also need the key id right so uh, this is the key id just copy and paste it here the other thing you need is the team id you will find this team id uh, in the developer dashboard so i will go to developer dashboard and from here you need to uh, go to account uh, we have this membership details so i will go to membership and this is my team id so i will copy it it is unique for every uh, apple developer account so i will enter this team id and upload so it says it has been detected and with this we have set up you can also generate two keys one for sandbox and other for production right you can upload both of them but this works for both uh, sandbox and production so we have set up our uh, ios push notifications on uh, and uh, on firebase and what it does the key that we uploaded uh, when we request firebase cloud messaging to send a notification to a device it will come to this apns auth key and then it will contribute uh, connect and coordinate with the uh, ios uh, the apple push notification service and then apple push notification service will send the notification to our flutter app so that's how it's done it's done in two step unlike android so this is the setup on firebase similarly we have done the setup on apple developer where we need this identifier and that needs to be similar with the x code firebase and here and you also need to enable the push notifications and also you have done this uh, uh, you have added these capabilities right and similarly um, uh, you have set these options right background fetch remote notifications and then we created a key and uploaded it to the firebase so that's the whole setup uh, in terms of configuration for ios right and now we will also need to do some changes on the code level so this is the notification service class that we use you can check out the previous videos right so here we take permission from the user first then if authorization is not denied then we get a token from device right so if you have done the setup that we just did so this function will get a token right that you can use to target a device for notification and you, if you haven't set it you will get this type of error which is this uh, apns error right it says that you haven't enabled this apns service on firebase and now let me restart the app and see if we have this error being removed or not mm, actually i've enabled uh, the permission and i still have an issue here and it's simulator right on simulator you can test these push notifications right because simulator doesn't have the functionality so for that you will need to test it on a real device but uh, this will get you uh, get your job done on ios as well right you can watch the previous video on how to set up these notifications so the code remains same for normal notifications but on the foreground notifications which we did using a package uh, we set up a local notifications uh, which is this plugin right for this we need to do some configurations for ios as well and uh, let's see how we can do that for ios right our app can receive notification right and background and when our app is uh, like closed right 
and in, even in foreground it receives but it won't be shown directly that's why we created a, a video on uh, setting up notification when your app is opened right when your app is opened and you are in the foreground so notification isn't received by default for that we set up local notifications using a plugin and this is the plugin that we used uh, to set the notifications right so uh, we have done everything you can watch the videos but here uh, what i have to do i am initializing local notifications here so i have passed this android settings here i also need to pass for ios as well so this is the code that we need we don't need this only receive and we also need to pass these initialization settings on ios here as well right so now when our uh, local notification plugin is initialized it, it also passes this ios as well right you can also do different configurations here uh, which are these request al alert permission right if you need any you can do the configuration to tailor your uh, uh, what you say the notifications according to your needs right then it creates a, a notification channel right uh, we don't need to change anything here so it will create us this notification channel and ios there is no concept of this notification channel right so it will be just done for the android part so what you uh, you can also do that you can skip uh, this part which is await uh, create local notification you can add check like if platform is android uh, then uh, you you go with this call and if it's ios you can skip it you can do that as well right so uh, this is the local notifications setup on ios as well so here uh, we also need to do one thing uh, for uh, foreground notifications when the notification is received so it isn't shown by default so we use the local notification plugin to show it to show it we pass the notification data received from firebase into this and a notification pops up right so uh, let's see if we need for ios as well yes you need for ios as well so here we just add this drive notification details you can also do the configurations and now we have set up uh, our flutter project to receive notifications both on android and ios right uh, there, there is one mo one more thing that you can do you can go to info.plist file and here you need to add some uh, uh, some configurations for ios and uh, let's add those uh, configurations uh, sorry that's not what uh, needs to be done uh, you can search it out in perplexity and uh, give me configs for flutter app to set up local notifications on ios in info.plist file i've just given this a weird uh, prompt but hopefully it will get the job done you just need to get to the results right so it will give us the configurations and these are the configurations that we need to set up right so i will just copy it and you just need to paste it here right and it will get the job done for you uh, what you can do you can also bring them to order and uh, that's it now your app can receive a notification on ios as well so i have covered all the configurations and all the setup that's it for today video guys see you in the next video goodbye